welcome everyone. Um, I'm Marcel. I'm working with Highgate, a non-profit research institute in Heidelberg, Germany. And I'm going to take, talk you through the awesome stack. Um, what is awesome? Um, awesome is a platform that makes it easy to interact with the rich history of OpenStreetMap data. At its core, it's the OSHDB, a database, and built on top are different APIs and applications that make it easy and user-friendly to interact with the histor historical data. Um, my favorite is actually also the oldest, the Open Dashboard. It's um, a form, uh, uh, like a form interface. Um, you put in um, your area of interest, countries, administrative levels, and then you can filter by tag or OpenStreetMap type, geometry type, and do simple aggregations like sums of uh, areas, counts, length. And you can also do groupings by your boundaries, your areas, or comparing different tags over time. So how did um, OpenStreetMap evolve re with respect to, some, to, to your filters in uh, different areas, for instance? So how does it look in action? Um, this is just a simple filter, all amenity objects in Virginia over the last nine years. And you see that linear growth uh, almost doubled from like 50K to 120K. Um, so we see, yeah, the map is growing in Virginia. Um, we can also do that uh, grouping uh, for healthcare objects, healthcare related objects. Um, here we see amenity optical clinic and doctors, like the main uh, objects um, for healthcare. We see a dip in 2017, but besides from that, also linear growth. Um, and yeah, the dashboard is just um, to get a like, quick overview of the OpenStreetMap data. Of course, we don't know like what exactly happened here. Maybe we should have a look at the change sets or the contributions itself here. Um, so there's another tool or application, Awesome Hacks or historical um, exploration. Um, so this is pre-processed historic data. So here you have a map interface and the time slider, so you can go back and forth in time. And you see these aggregations on hex level. So here we have, for instance, uh, the US or North America, and you see the proportion of hospitals um, for each of these hexagons that uh, have an emergency tag. So sometimes um, you see just one tag, amenity hospital or healthcare hospital, but there's other important tags like the bad count, for instance, or if there's emergency capacity. Um, yeah, and this tool can help you to see that um, spatially via web interface. Um, you can also zoom in and um, select different of the different uh, hexagons and then compare them again non-spatially over time. So here I've done that for Washington, Richmond, and Philadelphia. And we see in 2018, um, we reached 100% proportion in these cities, like healthcare or hospital objects were mapped with emergency tags, but then we have a dip. Of course, we don't know um, whether there are like new hospitals mapped or just um, the attributes changed. That would require more um, investigation. Um, another tool, the Awesome Quality Analyst, or short OQT, is a platform that brings together um, extrinsic and intrinsic quality indicators. So it's a set of indicators. For the intrinsic ones, we use the history a lot. Like, for instance, how complete is um, uh, a certain feature map? We use mapping saturation over time, but we also do extrinsic analysis, like comparing, again, over time, OpenStreetMap's development in um, evolution in some areas. Um, comparing it to other data sets like um, building footprints or um, population data. And this is quite uh, recent, um, a proof of concept also now. Actually, this is a byproduct of us um, wanting to be um, like um, updating our um, history database in real time. So um, we also thought like we could um, publish uh, the, the real time changes also as a screen. Um, so this is um, an application where you can track changes again, filtering for certain um, tags or areas and yeah, listening to the stream in real time. And um, we also, we developed that um, together with HLT, the humanitarian open street map team that want to be able to have real time statistics on their impact and mapping. Um, but there are also other use cases, for instance, like triggering, triggering um, like listening to the stream and um, watching for an event and triggering secondary processing. For instance, think about you have a, you run a routing engine and you want to update um, not every day or half a day, whatever, um, but want to watch for specific changes or threshold of changes to the road network and build then your graph or your database um, when that event is triggered. 
Um, yeah, that's my talk. Um, I put uh, some links and the resources in the slides. We'll share that via Twitter, but yeah, also feel free to reach out and talk to me personally about history.